hello guys welcome back to the new video so in this video we're gonna make this food ordering website using the react.js so let me show the demonstration of the website which we're gonna make in this video by using the react.js and the tailwind css so let me refresh the website for from scratch so this is our hero section with hover effect on the read more button as you can see that we have these animations which come and go as i scroll the page up and down okay so i will show you how to add this then we have this beautiful section again with the uh, with the uh, animation on on scroll then after that we have our about a section and also we have the power effect on the order now button then as i scroll i have this section then after that we have this our grid section with these four sections okay after that we have our form section okay so here also i have the hover effect okay so it will come again if i go top and below and after that i have our uh, footer section and the contact us section okay so here i also have the animation if i scroll the animation will appear and also i have the hover effect on the icons like this okay and also the hover effect are also here okay so if i click on this it will take me to the top like that and uh, uh, and it is our header if i click on the about uh, it will take me to the about the section and if i click on the menu it will take me to the menu then same for the gallery and for the form section okay and also let me show the uh, mobile responsiveness of this website and this animation will also work for phone okay so you can see that the animations are coming as i scroll okay so this website is totally responsive for all the screen as you can see and also the animation will come and go on the page scroll like this okay so we're gonna make this website from scratch and i will show you how to add such type of animations to your website okay so if I click on this link, it will take me to the top again. And also we have this hover, uh, hover effect on the social icons. If I click on this, it will take me to the top and let me show the phone um, menu to it. Uh, if I click on the about, it will take me to the about in the phone also. Same for the menu then same for the gallery and uh, same for the contact. Okay, so let's start the video and we're going to make this from scratch by using the react.js and the tailwind CSS the modern tech right now in the industry so for making this let's go to my and here i'm gonna make a folder okay so let's i make a folder of a new folder put website new so you can name whatever you want Okay, so after that, uh, go inside the folder and from here you have to open this in a VS code. Okay, like that. I prefer to use the VS code. Okay, so after that, uh, you have to go to the extension and here you have to install the extension. This ES7 plus React Redux code snippet, uh, this extension you have to install. And after that, you have to install this in uh, intelligence for Tailwind CSS. Okay so after that uh, we have to go to the official website of this to tailwind css so just go to the official website of this and from here we have to click on the get started and here on the quick search you have to search for uh, installed tailwind css with white okay so after that you have to just copy this first command go and copy this command and you have to let me close my previous project and uh, you have to go to this new and from here just paste the command okay here and from here you have to go to this and you have to just uh, enter your folder name if you want to open your website in the folder but i prefer to open this okay so do it like that dot and hash and press enter so it will install all the uh, so it will install your react project here okay just press enter okay so this is installed now we have to go and we have to run this second command just copy this command and come to your terminal and paste this command here and let's wait for it 
okay so this is installed now what we have to do uh, we have to go to our npx and copy this command and copy this command and uh, from here let's uh, copy this command and uh, this will generate a file where we have to paste this code okay so we have uh, this file tailwind.config.js and here we have to paste uh, this so let's copy and paste this here okay and after that uh, what we have to do we have to go to our uh, src folder and inside the src folder we have to paste this sec uh, this code of index.css just go to your src folder and index.css just remove all the css code from there and paste this just save it and after that uh, uh, we have to copy our app.jsx and from here go to your app.jsx and remove all the code and paste it here and after that what we have to do we have to run the command enter cls and run npm run dev okay so this will open your project in the localhost so just click on this and follow the link okay so it means our project is set up and we are ready to start okay so let's remove all the code from the app.jsx and uh, we're gonna first uh, copy the assets folder so i will give you the asset folder in the video description you can copy the folder from there okay so let me go to my src folder okay so let me go to my previous website and from here in the src folder i uh, i'm going to copy the assets folder from here and this folder will contain all the images required to build this website okay so let me remove this old and let's paste the new one okay so i will give you this asset folder in the video description okay so let's uh, start okay so first what we have to do uh, in the src folder uh, we're gonna make a folder called uh, sections so this will contain our all section okay so let's build our first section our first section will be header dot jsx and let's build an, uh, another hero dot jsx so let me zoom little bit so this will be visible properly okay so after that uh, i think this is looking good and after that uh, menu.jsx after that uh, items.jsx then uh, banner.jsx then uh, contact.jsx and at last our footer.jsx now what we have to do uh, we have to close all the unrequired files and we have to go to the header and here write RAFC just press enter and save and same for the hero press RA, uh, RAFC and press enter same for the menu press enter and go to the items and here also you have to press the RAFC and press enter then for the banner RAFC for the contact also do the same thing for the footer okay so let's close the all and in the app.jsx we're gonna again do the RAFC and here what we have to do uh, we have to open uh, this bracket and inside this we have to call all the components Okay. We can import this uh, from here. Import uh, adder from sections adder. So let's see. Okay, so our header is rendered here. So let's uh, import all the files. We have to import hero. I'm not getting auto suggestion here. Let me check why. Let's go to hero.jsx and let me save this. And we're gonna again come here. Okay, so now I'm getting auto suggestion. You have to just go and paste your files. Okay, 
so let's go and uh, render menu so let me do one thing uh, just go and uh, save one more time all the files you will start getting the auto suggestion okay let's go to again and after that i'm gonna menu so i'm getting auto suggestion now let's quickly uh, import all the sections items then banner then i have to import contact okay so let's save our app.jsx and okay so our all sections are rendered so now we're gonna start from our hero section and uh, let's uh, go to our let's close all the components on uh, and only the hero.jsx uh, file will be open let's close the app.jsx also because we don't need it now so now uh, we're gonna make our app.js uh, hero.jsx Okay, so for that uh, we need to build the two sections so let's write it here section and after that uh, what we have to do okay so let's go to new terminal and here i have to install npm i aos okay so let's install this npm i aos and you have to install one more library uh, npm i uh, react icons okay so you have to install these two npm i aos and the react icons okay so these all the libraries are installed now what we have to do uh, we have to uh, import here first uh, bg image from assets icons okay assets and uh, hero banner dot jpg and after that uh, uh, we have to import aos from aos also we have to import aos dist uh, this is used for the animations okay so this library will will be used for the animation okay so after that in the uh, this here we have to write use effect so it will auto import use effect at the top uh, just uh, write like this and uh, okay and here we have to write uh, like this and inside this we have to write aos dot in it okay and here you have to give some values offset will be 200 and uh, uh, duration of all the animation will be 800 seconds then the animations would be uh, is in sign okay and at last we have to uh, give some delay of 100 seconds okay so let's uh, save this and after that we have to again go to a uh, return statement and let's start our sections so in this uh, we have to give a id home so this will trigger the menu uh, when we click on the menu it will come to the hero section so with full bg black flex justify between item center text white adding in the x axis will be 10 padding in the y direction would be 20 then bg cover bg center okay so after that we have to open the style tag the inline styling and uh, here you have to add a background image so write it like this 
then write the background image property then this and in the url i have to give the bg image which i am using above which i have imported above okay so let's write this and from view section go to the word wrap okay so this will wrap after that what we have to do inside this div i have to render a div again let's uh, give this div some classes styling class name flex flex column justify justify center item center and for the large devices items would be start and gap would be 8 width full and for the large devices width would be 2 by 3 and padding from the left would be 10 padding from the right would be 2 and in the large for the large devices padding uh, for the left would be 32 and for the large devices padding from the right would be 10 okay so let's view our front end one okay so we are getting the image here so right now we don't have any content that's why it is showing like that so in the this section we have to render another section and uh, let's uh, give this id box circle so and uh, let's give the classes name bg green here i'm gonna use some different color okay let's use this color for that and padding would be 12 rounded uh, full flex justify center item center flex call gap of 4 width would be 60 and in the margin the top uh, we have the 6 value okay so let's render this so right now we are getting this color so let me do one thing uh, we can go to here or let's uh, give a custom color okay so this color is looking good okay so just write here bg green 500 okay after that uh, inside this box circle uh, we have to give a h1 okay so let's give this 40 percent and here yeah, we have to give some styling to it let's give class name text black font bold x6xl okay after that we have to give some h1 again here i'm gonna write business and lunch okay so inside that uh, let's give a br tag here like that so let's give this h1 also some styling class name text black font bold text excel text center okay so let's go here so our this circle is ready okay so after that what we have to do uh, let's uh, format our code okay now after the box circle so in the box circle we have to give some animation so let's give our first animation write data aos and here we have to write slide right okay so if i go here so you can see that our animation is working if i refresh the page okay so now what we have to do inside this after that div we have to give an h1 tag and this will contain new so you can write any text whatever you want here 
and let's give the class name give some styling uh, text uh, to excel font semi bold and here i'm gonna give an animation of data aos zoom in up okay so let's see okay so this is looking like that now after the h1 tag render another h1 tag and here uh, where every ingredients six every ingredients tells a story okay so after that uh, we have to again write it here br tag so let's see okay so this is looking like that so let's give some styling to it let's first uh, let's give some animations here i will give a zoom in and uh, for the styling let's give text uh, Next, uh, 5xl and for the large devices next would be 6xl font bold text center and for the large devices text uh, would be start let's save okay so we have some error uh, i think i have uh, missed some closing tag here okay so here i have to write h1 let's save again okay so this is rendered and also our uh, animations are working okay so now we have to add our btn button so let's write here button and after that inside this i have to write read more and uh, let's give button uh, animation also data aos and here we have to write uh, zoom in and uh, up after that uh, we have to give a class name to this also so let's give bg orange uh, 500 and padding in that direction would be 8 padding in the y direction would be 4 then rounded uh, full and on the hover we have to give the background image so let's give bg green 500 on the hover and uh, and on the hover text would be black and uh, font uh, bold and margin top would be three so let's save it and uh, if i go over front end so the beautiful button is coming on uh, with the animations okay so our hero section is ready so let's uh, move to the next section and uh, in the next section we're gonna make uh, so let's go to hero section and see which is our next section so app.jsx so our next section is the menu section so let's go to menu and we're gonna start making our menu section okay so for making the menu we have to again import uh, uh, we have to import some images so first uh, let's go to our hero section and uh, i'm gonna import uh, copy these files from here because we also have to add the animations here and i'm gonna copy this use effect also so let's go here and uh, copy this here and uh, we're gonna write uh, our use effect again so it will automatically import at the top okay so now we are ready so let's import our images so we're gonna import menu one from uh, assets and here menu one dot uh, webp so let me copy this like that and here i'm gonna write a menu 2 and let's write it here menu 2 again and menu 3 and menu 3 okay then after that i have to import uh, uh, vertical vertical one and here the same name uh, this is our vertical images which are required and the extension will be in the jpg okay so after that uh, i have to copy this three times just press alt plus shift and the down arrow so it will copy or uh, the 
like that then you write here item one and here also write item one and this will be in the jpg format then item two item two and this would be item three item three and after that okay, so this is done okay now let's start making our this section i'm gonna write here section okay so for first uh, let's open this and inside this we're gonna make our page so let me format this once and let's go to view and i'm gonna do the word wrap so inside so let's uh, style this section i'm gonna give the uh, class of with full bg slate uh, 950 and height would be fit so you can see that we are getting the auto uh, auto suggestion here and this is due to the uh, extension which we have installed for the tailwind css okay so uh, if i hover on this it will give me the suggestion and it will show me the value so dot h fit means height will be fit content so it will automatically fit the content so padding in the direction would be 20 and padding in the y direction would be 28 and flex flex column and for the large devices it will be flex row then justify center items would be center and gap uh, would be 16 okay so after that let's uh, add a div here and uh, for this div uh, let's give this div uh, 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 animation so it would be a slide up and after that uh, data aos delay so it will give some delay to it in the animation and let's style it class name would be flex justify center items uh, center bg center bg cover and uh, for the large devices height would be 350 pixel and for the large devices width would be 300 pixel okay and uh, for the mobile devices it will be 300 uh, 300 pixel and uh, width would be 100 pixel and the border radius will be rounded excel okay so let's open an inline css here is style so let me do one thing uh, without writing this we can go to our hero section and from here we just copy and paste this style okay from here and uh, so we don't want to write it again and again so let's copy this here and just we have to change the background image here and from here let's add here manual okay so let me okay so right now we are having this image so let's go here again and uh, what we have to do inside this h1 uh, i'm gonna write a h1 uh, so let's write here fresh food and uh, let's give this uh, a class text white and uh, font bold x3xl okay so let's go so you can see that we are getting this now what we have to do uh, let's format this once okay now what we have to do uh, we have to just copy this okay so just you have to copy this three times so just uh, go here and we have to copy this so to just change the image here background menu 2 and this would be menu 3 so let's update 
so now we are having our three images okay okay now we are having our three images like this so i think uh, we have miss px20 py28 large flex row just to center okay or gap 16 okay so let's uh, format this once after that what we have to do we have to make another section and uh, let's uh, give this uh, section id about let's style this flex call and for the large devices flex would be do and justify center item center gap would be 10 and for the large devices uh, padding would be 24 and for the uh, phone padding would be 10 large devices padding would be 24 in the y axis and uh, padding would be 20 for the mobile and px 10 for phone and for the large devices px would be 20 and bg slate 950 and width would be full and height would be fit okay so let's see okay so this is rendered now what we have to do inside this h1 we have to open a div Okay, so let's name here left and after that uh, we have to give some classes so for the large devices uh, width would be 50 percent we have to give the custom width here and uh, width would be full for the mobile then flex then flex uh, column justify and item center and for the large devices items start okay then in the let's format this then in the left we have to add an h1 tag and uh, this will say about and uh, in the span tag we have to write us and let's style the span tag here uh, class name would be text green 500 italic and let's style the h1 let's first give uh, the uh, data aos zoom in so it will give a zoom in animation to this text and after that we have to give some class name uh, inside uh, this text uh, white text uh, 6xl on bold so let's save and see our front end okay so this is rendered here now what we have to do uh, we have to again uh, trigger a write h1 tag here and inside this uh, we have to write uh, grab this tasty food let's go this and let's see so right now it's not coming okay so let's give this uh, uh, class to uh, classes also text uh, white text to excel and font semi bold okay so it's coming like this let's give the text to excel only okay and uh, let's give a margin Three. margin top three like that 
Okay, so after the H1 tag, we have to give a P tag. And in the P tag, well, let's add lorem 10. And in the P tag, data AOS zoom in and data AOS delay uh, would be 400 and let's give the classes Okay, so we don't have to give the delay here. So let's remove the delay and uh, let's give class name style to it. Text white. Text Excel. Font semi word. Text center. LG would be text start. So let's save it. Okay, so we have this. So let me do one thing. I am gonna delete uh, this H1 from here. It is not required now. Let's see. Okay, so this is looking like that. Okay, so now what we have to do? Uh, we have to uh, just uh, copy this H1 tag. Let's duplicate this. Let's see. Okay. And if you want to give uh, some bigger text, you can go here and uh, write it here. Lorem 20. And also for uh, this, let's write Lorem 20. Let's see. Okay. Like that. So now what we have to do, let's go here and we're going to format this. Go to word wrap and this is already wrapped. After the P tag, we have to uh, trigger a button. And uh, let's uh, give the button order now. And uh, let's give the button some classes. Okay, so let's give data AOS animation uh, zoom in up and data OS delay time delay of 400 millis 400 seconds okay and uh, class name would be BG orange 500 and padding in the x axis would be 8, padding in the y axis would be 4, rounded full, and for the hover BG green 500, and for the hover text black, font would be bold, and we are at the margin of top 6. Let's update, and now we have this button. Okay. Now after that, what we have to do? Uh, after that, uh, we have to trigger an image here. So after the this H1, this div, we have to make a div again. And uh, here, we have to write uh, about image. And uh, inside this, we have to give data AOS animation again. Slide left. Okay. So let's give it a slide up. And uh, here uh, we're gonna give data AOS delay. 200 and the class name flex justify center items center and for the large devices 
uh, width would be 50% and uh, the large width would be 50% and uh, width would be full for the dust devices means the phone and inside this div we have to open the h1 tag and in the src we have to render vertical one and here i have to write uh, about image in the alt tag and let's give the width of 500 and height of uh, 500 and uh, class name downward excel so let's format this and open our front end okay so our this section is also ready and also the animations are working perfectly just we have to give some gap here so let's go here and in the left tag we have to give some gap so let's give the gap of 10 let's save and see okay so this is looking good now okay so our this section is also ready now we're gonna move our next section so let's see which is our next section let's go to app.jsx and uh, our next section is our item section so, so for making the item section uh, we have to again uh, do go here so let's copy this import aos from here let's copy this three go to our items and uh, simply paste it here then go to here again and copy this uh, use effect and go to the items and uh, paste it here okay then uh, now we are ready so just we have to import some images so let's go to here and uh, import here dish one from assets right here dish uh, one dot jpg and uh, just press the alt shift and down arrow and copy it three times just uh, go here and just change the name dish1 to dish2 then go here and again change the name dish3 okay. and uh, just go here dish4 right here dish4 okay so let's uh, go to our return statement and here we're gonna render the section okay so now for this section let's give an id of menu so it will trigger the menu from the menu which we make in the header let's give the width full height would be fit bg slate 950 padding would be 12 and for the large padding would be 20 and in the large devices padding would be 24 and for the mobile Padding would be 20, then flex, flex, column, justify center, item center, and gap of 10. Okay, let's format this and let's go to view and do the word, word wrap. Then inside this section, uh, we have to uh, render here h1 and write it here view our uh, st open the span tag and uh, write it here puts and in the span tag add the class name text green 500 and would be italic and in the h1 we have to again uh, uh, give the data aos which is the animation let's give it uh, zoom in and uh, let's give the classes here text white font bold text uh, 6xl and the uh, text would be center okay, let's see it is rendered or not okay so it is rendered in the center so now what we have to do in after the h1 we have to render a p tag write it here lorem 10 for the content and in the p tag let's give the animation again so right now we have to give slide up and uh, let's give the classes text white on semi bold text uh, excel text would be central 
let's see okay so it is rendered again so right now this is below because uh, we don't have page to scroll that's why the animation is not working so let's go here and here we're gonna make our grids okay so let's uh, give here id grids and give here classes flex flex uh, call and for the large devices flex row and uh, just phi uh, center item center flex wrap so it will be automatically wrap in the screen wise okay, then inside this you have to again make a div and uh, for inside this div let's style this div first so uh, let's give the animation for data aos and uh, slide uh, up data aos delay 200 and uh, let's give the style flex flex call and uh, justify center item center gap of 4 bg slate 950 bg slate uh, 950 then we have to give a padding bottom of 10 and in the large uh, devices uh, width would be 2 by 5 and for the mobile width would be 4 and uh, rounded 150 pixel custom border radius so let's update and inside this div we have to render an image Let's write it here dish one. In the alt write dish image. Then uh, let's update it once more time. Okay, so our image is uh, coming here. Okay, then after the image, have to enter a div tag here. Let's give this uh, div a classes. So, classes would be with full flex, flex column, justify center, item center, gap of 4, and padding in x direction would be 10. Okay, then inside this div, to enter h1, so write it here hot burger or your dish name whatever you want to write and here I have to give a text white font bold and text would be to excel so let's go okay, so this is rendered so here uh, okay so here we have to give 950 not 950 900 so it will give a color okay so it will give us a color of like this okay so after that h1 we have to write a p tag here so write it here lorem 10 it will give some content and in the classes here text uh, white font semi bold text uh, large center let's see okay this is rendered now we have to go out of the p tag and here to write button and uh, let's uh, write it here order now and in the class name we have to write uh, pg green 500 padding in the x would be 8 padding in the y would be 4 rounded uh, full and for the hover 
bg orange would be 500 and for the hover x black font bold and margin top would be 2 so let's see okay so this is rendered and also the hover effect is working and also the cursor pointer is working so now what we have to do let's uh, format this and uh, just we have to uh, copy this and uh, we have to duplicate this three times okay so let's save okay so our grids are done just we have to change the content from here so in here write uh, dish 2 and uh, write it here dish 3 and write it here dish 4 so let's save okay so the images are changed and uh, the animations are also working if i scroll like this okay so but this section is also ready now we can move to our next section which is the banner section to make our banner section so let's get to our banner.jsx file and from here we have to let's start our banner section okay so first we have to copy again our uh, animations file from here let's copy this from here and we're gonna paste inside that and after that let's copy our use effect from here again like that and go to banner and uh, inside this let's uh, write here okay now what we have to do we have to write here use effect so it will automatically uh, import the above import it at above okay so now we have to uh, import the Im uh, image here import banner one from assets banner one dot jpg okay like this so after that uh, we have to write it here sections so let's give this section class name of uh, class name then width would be full bg black height uh, would be fit let's justify between item center text white and uh, padding in the x-axis would be 10 and padding in the large devices would be 40 and padding in the y-axis would be 20 for mobile and for all the devices bg cover bg center okay so now we have to open an inline style here so that uh, right here style and uh, inside this we have to write background image and inside this we have to open this and in the url we have to write like that and we have to trigger an image banner one like that okay so let's uh, format this go to view and do the water app see okay, so our image is rendered here now what we have to do in the section the section uh, we have to okay so now what we have to do uh, we have to write it here div okay so let me do one thing we can go to the hero section and uh, from the hero section we can copy this uh, box circle from here and just we have to paste the box circle here okay let's format this let's see okay so it is coming here just we have to give the animation different here so let's uh, give the animations here zoom in animation okay let's see okay, okay so it is working 
now after that what we have to do uh, after that uh, this div we have to render an h1 and uh, let's write it here keep up to date with us okay then in the h1 we have to give data aos slide up and data aos delay 300 would be time so the animation will come after the 300 seconds and for the large devices we have to give the text size of 6xl and for the all the devices means for the phone version text would be 5xl it means that for the large devices from the large to xl and for the x and for the, all the devices above we have the 6xl and below the large devices we have the 5xl till small devices okay so and we can give here font semi bold then after that uh, let's save it here okay so this is here then okay so i think uh, section after that uh, inside this section i have to write a div here and uh, let's copy this and paste it here and uh, let's cut this again and paste it here after that and let me do one thing uh, we missed a div okay so let's give some styling to this div the main div so it will be flex flex call Justify center item start gap of eight and width will be full. So let's update. Okay, so now our text is coming below. Okay, so after that H1, we have to give a P lorem uh, 10. So let's give here data AOS. slide up data us delay uh, 400 let's give the class name of text excel and for the large device text to excel and font would be semi bold okay let's see okay so this is rendered here and now after that what we have to do uh, after the p tag we have to open a div here and uh, inside this div we have to made our form so let's give the animation first animation would be slide right and data aos delay would be 600 and id would be form and let's give the class name here uh, flex flex call and for the large devices flex would be row justify item justify start and items would be uh, start width would be full and gap of six and margin top would be three okay then inside this div uh, we can write our input type equal to text and uh, here we gonna give the class padding in the y-axis would be 4 padding in the y-axis would be 4 okay so we can write here p4 text black font normal and width would be full for phone and for the mobile uh, we're gonna give the custom width of 50 percent and uh, rounded would be full and let's give a placeholder to this uh, input form right here enter your valid email okay so let's save and see okay so right now we don't have area to scroll 
that's why it is not displaying so let's me format this okay then after that we have to write uh, button tag here and in the button write type equal to submit and uh, let's give classes bg green 500 and hover bg orange 500 padding would be 10 for phone and padding would be 4 and this would be rounded full border radius and text black font bold xlg and here i have to write send let's update okay so it is there but it is not showing because uh, for showing let me do one thing let me delete this from here let's save okay. so it is showing here uh, that is not showing because we don't have the animations space okay so let me paste this again okay so it is come and go okay so our uh, banner section is also ready i think now we have to make our contact section okay so let's uh, cancel this and we're gonna open our contact okay so let's go to banner and uh, from here i'm gonna copy this to file again and uh, let's go here and we're gonna paste it here and from here i'm gonna go to use effect and copy this and again i'm gonna paste this here okay so let's format this and in the view to the word drive now we're gonna make our contact section okay so for making the contact section uh, let's import some icons import phone from assets icons phone dot svg and let's uh, duplicate this two times and uh, let's write it here mail and also write it here mail let's write it here uh, map and also we're gonna write it here map okay. okay so let's go to here and here i'm gonna write uh, section let's give this section some styles so at first we're gonna give the id contact and the class name i'm gonna give bg slate 950 with full and padding in the x-axis would be 20 padding in the y-axis would be 20 flex column and for the large devices flex would be row justify around item center and gap of 16 after that in the section let's give the div and we're gonna give here data aos slide right and data aos delay uh, would be 500 and for the classes i'm gonna give flex flex call justify center item center and gap would be four okay then inside this div we have to give uh, div and this div would be icon box okay let's uh, give this icon box classes so bg green uh, 
500 padding would be 4 for all rounded full and for the hover bg green 500 and the cursor would be pointer inside this div we have to render the image so let's write it here phone and this will be phone icon and for the width will be 40 and height will be 40 let's uh, format this let's save okay so it is not ended because i think we have not imported use effect okay so let's write it here use effect and we're gonna save it again okay so this is rendered so let's go back okay so now this is coming here but our hover is not working uh, hover is not working because uh, we have given the same color bg orange let's save okay so this is uh, working now okay now what we have to do we have to okay then after the image after this image icon box after that day we have to uh, you have to render here h1 and uh, hdr call x call us let's give the class name text white font bold text to excel uppercase let's see so this is rendered here and after the h1 we have to write again p monday to friday write it here from uh, 8 am to 5 am and let's give the classes text white font normal text excel text center let's save okay so this is rendered here then after that we have to again write p tag and here write any random number or you can write your own number and let's give some styling to this text orange 500 text to excel text to excel and after that let's give font bold text center so let's save okay so this is comes and you can also give your underline if you want let's give this underline okay so this will be look good and uh, let's give the cursor pointer okay so you can add here links okay so let's uh, format and go to view what drag is already done now we have to now we have to just copy this and uh, let's go to this whole section and we're gonna copy this two times let's refresh okay so it is looking like that now just we have to change here the map and uh, just you have to go and change here uh, mail let's save okay so let's quickly change the content you have to just change the content here so this is our callers and after that we have here map so write it here reaches and you can also write it here mail us so you have to just change the content according to it okay so our this section is also ready now let's uh, move to our next section okay so here if you want to add different animations you can also add to it i have not used the json because i want to show the animations in this website that how the animations works in all 
in a different way that's why i have used like this so we have to give some animation slide right so let's give this slide up and here also we're gonna give the slide up animation give this slide up also and for the delay time we're gonna add here six let's add it here seven let's update if i again go below so it will come like that okay like this so our uh, this section is also ready now only our footer and uh, header section is left so now let's start the video and we're gonna make our footer okay so for making the footer we have to go to this and uh, let's remove our contact and let's go to and open our footer dot jsx file and let's go to banner and we're gonna import uh, this these three things again in the footer okay and let's go to banner and we're gonna import our use effect which is required for the animations okay so now we are ready to make the footer okay so for that uh, we have to open this here and let's write it here footer tag and let's uh, give this footer some classes flex by center item center and padding in the accessories would be 10 and padding in the uh, large device would be 20 and py 10 and padding in the py would be 12 then flex call gap of 6 bg slate 800 and would be full let's format uh, this and we're gonna go to view and do the word wrap so let's update okay so our footer is started rendering now in the footer we have to give a div here and here we have to write social icons and uh, give the class name here flex flex row justify start item start and gap of six and margin top would be three okay. then inside this we have to add div and let's write here data aos let's give some animations to it zoom in an id would be icon box right here class name bg orange 500 padding would be two rounded full and for the hover bg would be green 500 and cursor would be pointer okay. then inside this we have to render fb image fb icon and here we have to give the width of 28 and height of 28 let's format this ones and we have to import some images for this so let me quickly import the images okay so we have to import a link from okay so we have to in uh, we have to install something so right here npm i react scroll okay so we will use this library for scrolling animation when we click on the header menus okay so let me quickly install this okay so this is installed so just we have to import this from react scroll and after that uh, we have to import fb from asset icons 
fb.svg and we have to okay so let's write it here you have to copy this three times okay write insta and write it here insta.svg write it here twitter and write it here twitter.svg here yt yt.svg then you have to uh, copy this again and uh, and in the yt write the top arrow.svg and write it here also top arrow.svg okay so let's see Okay. so if I remove this paste it again so this is rendered here okay so let's add the animation again so due to animation it is not showing okay. so after that just we have to format this and just we have to copy the icon box icon box three times so let's go here and uh, okay so just go here and uh, write it here insta write it here yt and uh, write it here uh, twitter let's save okay, so it is rendered but it is not showing due to the animations okay so now what we have to do after this width again we have to enter a div so we don't want to make the div you have to make the ul tag let's give it as ul classes justify center item start items would be center text white text large and margin top would be 3 and for the large devices gap would be 10 and for the phone gap would be 4 and let's go to this ally and here we're gonna write home let's go here we're gonna give uh, one hover x star in 500 and cursor would be pointer okay so let's copy this four times one two three four yes you have to change the content about us menu gallery contact so let's see okay so they are ended here let me do one thing uh, we're gonna remove this uh, okay so let's give you a different animations give your zoom up and let's see let's save this okay so let's remove this animation from all and we're gonna add it at last save okay so now our icons are rendered here and also the menus now we have to make the top arrow button for uh, let's format the code ones and after the footer we have to top arrow button okay so write it here div to give a give width full bg black padding would be four flex column justify center item center text white font semi bold okay 
then after that uh, inside this div you have to render an h1 tag and write it here copyright text copyright 2024 designed and developed by a debug entity you can write it your uh, any name all rights reserved okay let's give this h1 some classes x center okay so let's see so it is rendered now we have to make the top arrow button so for this uh, what we can do uh, we can copy an icon box from the above and let's paste that icon box here just we have to uh, change this top arrow and uh, we have to enter a link so from the react scroll library uh, okay so let's go here like this and inside this link tag we have to paste this h1 and let's go to link here and here we're gonna write to home and we write here spy spy would be true and uh, offset uh, would be minus 100 and smooth would be true okay, so let's format this okay so let's go to our front end okay so this comes here uh, we have to give some classes to it so this would be bg green by default and uh, on hover this would be orange and uh, also we have to uh, give some classes here so write it here uh, fixed so its position would be fixed bottom 12 and right 6 so let's see okay, so if this position is fixed here okay so just we have to give the width and height of 40 here so the icon will be a little bit bigger okay like that if i click here it will uh, it is taking me to the top and also all the animations are working perfectly so for making the header uh, we have to go to our header.jsx and here uh, let's import uh, import link from react scroll library that will be responsible for smooth scrolling to all the sections and we're gonna import some icons from the react icons library right here import fax and marc and fa bars icons uh, from react icon slash fa6 okay after that in the constant header section we have to write some use state so write it here is menu open and write it here set is menu open then write it here use state and write it here false so it will be false uh, at initial state after that uh, we have to toggle the menu so for that we have to make a function of toggle menu okay. so use the arrow function here and here we have to set is menu open to not set 
is menu open if set is menu open is not set is menu open so it will toggle our menu icon for the mobile and after that uh, we have to enter again a function constant close menu so this function will be responsible for closing our menu on on click so right it here set is menu open to false so on clicking on the close where something our menu will be closed okay, so after that what we have to do uh, we have to render our nav links to cons nav items we have to use an array and inside the array we're going to use some object at link and uh, we're going to give it home path would be home like that okay so let's copy this four times okay so just we have to change the value here about menu menu here gallery we're gonna write it here gallery again write it here okay contact and write it here contact okay so after that in the return statement we have to write a nav so let's give this nav some classes flex justify between item center gap of 4 bg slate uh, 800 and for the large devices uh, padding would be 10 and padding in the y direction would be 6 that would be sticky at the top tops 0 and z index would be 30 okay. and inside the nav you have to render uh, id here div id logo so let's save it one more time and our header color is now visible so after that in the logo you can use image also but i am gonna write my channel name debug entity you can write your website project name or you can upload the logo also by using the image tag I'm gonna give for the large device a text would be custom height 35 pixel and uh, for the mobile and for all the screens below to the large devices would be 28 pixel and text uh, orange 500 and font uh, would be bold so let's save okay so now our logo is coming debug entity now after that uh, uh, we have to render the menu so after the div tag we have to open a ul tag and inside this write class name and for the large devices flex would be and for the large devices it would be flex justify center items uh, center gap would be 10 and for the normal mobile devices it will be hidden means the menu will only be visible in the desktop version and for the mobile version we're gonna show the icon and when someone click on the icon the mobile menu will appear okay so let's uh, render nav items dot map nav items dot map and uh, we're gonna give you a link and path so let's write it like that and inside this we're gonna give you a link and in the link let's give key would be path let's give some classes here text white uppercase font semi bold Sir pointer so this would be 
क्लास नेम एक सौ अड़सठ पॉइंटर एडिंग वुड भी थ्री एमराइड एल जी ऑन द हॉवर द बैकग्राउंड ऑफ बी जी ऑरेंज फाइव हंड्रेड एंड टेक्स्ट वुड भी ब्लैक एंड वी कैन राइट हियर आफ्टर द की राइट टू सो इन द टू वी कैन राइट द पाथ then for the spy we're gonna write uh, true okay true after that offset minus 100 and smooth will be true okay then in the link so let's do one more thing word wrap and go to view and word wrap it after formatting and so here we're gonna write it uh, uh link like that let's save so our menu is rendered and also the hover effect is working and when i click on the menu they are uh, redirecting to their sections okay so that is uh that is made by using the react scroll now we're gonna make the mobile menu so for making the mobile menu you have to go after the ul tag actually your mobile menu starts and after that we have to write a div tag let's give this div some classes justify center item center and for the large device it, it would be hidden and here uh here we have to call the function on on click so the function would be toggle menu so when someone click on this div the function will be called toggle menu and in the div we have to open this is menu open if menu is open then f a x mark so this would be self-closing like that then in the year we have to give some classes text white text to excel cursor pointer after that uh, here we have to trigger another icon fa bars and for this also we're gonna give the same classes so let me copy this uh, here uh, like that let's save okay, so let's go to inspect and uh, when we go to our this screen we are getting this icon okay like that okay so now what we have to do let's format this again oh, save this after that uh, after this main div we have to make uh, the mobile menu so here let's give the class name so here we're gonna write it here this and let's do this write it here is menu open if the menu is open we're gonna give the property flex and if the menu is not open we're gonna give the property hidden and uh, after that width would be full height would be fit and bg slate 800 padding would be 4 absolute top minus 80 pixel left zero okay 
and uh, in this we have to write on click uh, close menu we have, we have to trigger the function close menu so after that in the after this uh, let's give a ul tag here or what we can do okay so let's open the ul tag and let's give this ul tag some classes flex flex call five center items uh, center gap would be two and width would be full inside this ul we're gonna render nav items dot map like this link path okay, so inside this so write it like this and here i'm gonna render the link and uh, here we're gonna give the key path and let's give uh, else value to path then spy would be true so let me do one thing we're gonna copy this from here okay so let's copy this so after that uh, we have to style it for styling we're gonna give here text white uppercase font semicolon cursor pointer padding would be 3 rounded lg and for the hover bg orange 500 and for the hover text black and width would be full text would be center let's format this let's go here so we're gonna go to the inspect and let's see when i click here okay so our menu started working and also the color is coming like this if you click here okay okay so just to, we have to give some padding to left and right direction and if i click on this also this is working so let's go here and we have to just give some padding uh, to the nav item for the px direction so let's give here px4 let's save okay so i think all the sections are now done and our mobile part is also done and also our whole website is ready you can see that phone part is also working and also the animations are working when i scroll the page up and down okay so you can check the mobile responsiveness of this website and let's move to the final part of the video where we're gonna deploy this for free on the netlify okay for deploying for deploying this what we have to do let's deploy our project okay so i think there is one one more part is left which is the btn button we don't make the button here so let's let's quickly add the button here i forgot to add the button so let me go here and write the button button and here i am gonna write the order now and for the class name let's give the classes here bg green uh, 500 padding would be 8 for the x-axis padding would be 3 for the y-axis rounded would be full and for the hover bg orange 500 
and for the hover text would be black font bold and margin top would be 3 hidden and lg flex so let's see okay so this is done let's remove the margin top from here save okay so now everything is working okay and if i go to here the button will not show in the mobile if i go like this so you can see that it is totally responsive you can check this like that okay so let's move to the final part of the video where we're gonna deploy our project okay so for deploy this we have to go to our terminal and here we have to run a command let's clear our terminal and here we're gonna drop npm run build so when you run this command it will make a build uh, for production in the build folder okay so our folder is ready so now let's go to our netlify and here you have to log in uh, you have to just uh, go to here add new site and from here go to the deploy manually and from here you you have to browse to upload and from here you have to go to your folder uh, where you have installed the react project so let me go to the project and in the uh, and you have to just uh, uh, and you have to just upload the dist folder like this so click upload okay so let's wait for it to upload and uh, after that we're gonna deploy our project on the netlify for free so let's wait for it to upload okay so it is uploaded now what we have to do we have to go to the site overview and from here go to the site configuration and if you want to change the name you can go here and change the name like uh, react site uh, 20 or uh, whatever you want to name okay so after that it will give you this link so just open the link and your project will be deployed on the server for free and you can share this project in your cv or anywhere you want to share with your friends by using this link okay so let's check the final responsiveness okay so this is also responsive like this okay so our whole website is completed so if you like our video please like and share our videos with your friends and subscribe to our channel and i'm gonna see you next time